traditional forms of, of exercise are really making up a, a continuous workload. So you, you're working at a steady state, but at quite a moderate intensity. And you might do that between, from anywhere from 30 minutes up to an hour, perhaps. But the real difference is with high intensity interval training, as its name suggests, it's really intervals, short intervals, um, exercise in a very high intensity, interspersed with periods of recovery or rest. Currently the, uh, the data that's uh, available around HIT is actually really in its infancy um, despite the fact that HIT is a really popular fitness trend at the moment. In fact, it's the number one fitness trend um, worldwide. And there's some really good studies and data coming out from uh, Professor Marty Gimbala's lab in Canada suggesting that um, this high intensity interval training, despite a lower energy commitment and a lesser time, they're actually um, quite a quite good at improving our blood glucose control, our aerobic fitness, suggesting that HIT is, has potential um, in the broader population to, to show some major benefits for our health and well-being. Exercising for at least 30 minutes or even an hour a day, it's a big time commitment and we know that when we ask people what really limits them from doing their exercise or mean, reaching the current exercise guidelines, then it really is a lack of time which is a key factor. High intensity interval training, um, a lot of people do actually like it and they, they might even prefer it. Um, there is one study showing that it's, people find it actually more enjoyable than continuous type um, of exercise. And I think the good thing is that if you have a spare 15, 20 minutes in your day, then you can get a really good workout in and you can see some real measurable results pretty quickly. There are some studies um, that show that in as little as two weeks you'll see a measurable benefit. Um, in terms of your aerobic capacity and your blood sugar regulation um, with high intensity interval training. Most people are really after the, the magic bullet for weight loss when they, when they talk about high intensity exercise and um, research is actually suggesting that high intensity exercise may impact your body composition but it's not the key to weight loss. Um, we've got some results from uh, studying women with polycystic ovarian syndrome where we incorporated some high intensity interval training and it's certainly um, was, was potent over a 12 week period in, in reducing visceral fat, so in other words the fat around your abdomen or inside your abdomen, the, what we call the bad fat. But in terms of body weight, there was no change in body weight per se. Um, and these women were only on an exercise program, not a diet program. So in order to, to get su successful and sustained weight loss, you actually need to consider your whole lifestyle. So that's going to be um, your nutritional intake, so looking at what you eat and your diet, as well as including exercise. In terms of what exercise you should do, I would say um, choose the type of exercise that you enjoy, first of all. Um, you have to enjoy it, look forward to the workout. If you're going to look forward to it and enjoy it, there's a much better chance you'll actually do that exercise. And in the broad scheme of things, I would say um, definitely do some continuous um, steady state exercise. We know that's very good for you. Try and include some resistance type exercise. We know that's very good for maintaining muscle mass, particularly um, as you age. And then for some, maybe some days of the week, if you're struggling to fit in a full exercise session, then HIT might be a really good option, so give it a try. Mm -hmm.